Hello friends, this is Sanjeev Kaushik and welcome to my channel Methodical Crates. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Probability Lab in Interactive Brokers for my option trading. Firstly, how do we get to the Probability Lab? Go over here on New Window and then go down to Option Analysis. And from there onwards, the very first option that you will see is Probability Lab. So you have to click on Probability Lab and once you will do that, it will open a screen like this. Of course, you can change whichever underlying that you want to see the probability distribution on. But more or less, this is how your screen would look like. Now, let me maximize it and explain to you what does probability distribution signify. Now, on the horizontal axis, we have the strike prices or simply the prices of the underlying asset, which in this case is Meta. What you're seeing over here is 1.35% probability and here it's 2.54% probability. What it means is there is only 1.35% probability for the meta stock to close below 162 on expiry and we are looking at this probability distribution for Feb 17th expiry and I'm shooting this video after the Feb 14th session has ended. So let me repeat this 1.35% here signifies that there's only 1.35% chance for Meta to close below 162 on expiry, which is Feb 17th, 2023. This is what it signifies. And from here onwards, as we start moving towards at the money strike, as you can see over here, the price of Meta at closure was 179.57. As we move towards the at the money strikes, we see that the probability keeps on increasing. Now, the probability for the stock to close below 165 on expiry is 2.54%. And going by the same measure, what would be the probability for the stock to close between 162 and 165? It's nothing but you subtract 2.54 by 1.35 and what you get is 1.19 percent so the probability for the stock to close between 162 and 165 on expiry is 1.19 percent that's how you read a probability distribution graph right so in other words you keep on adding all these probabilities and this will give you the probability for the stock to close below that particular strike so for 172 strike here, all I have to do is add all the probabilities below 172 strikes and that will give me the total probability of stock closing below 172. Right now it's showing me 15.15% probability for the stock to close below 172 or 100 minus 15.15%. Let's round it up to 100 minus 15. Or we can say that there's only 85% chance for Meta to close above 172, above 172 on expiry. Now switch to March expiry. And this is how it looks like. Going back to again the basic of what we understood just now. As of today, based on the um, options implied volatility, there are higher chances that the market are assigning for the stock to trade somewhere between 175 to 185. So if you combine these two probabilities, 9.93% plus 10%, the market is implying that there is almost 20% chance for this stock to stay between the range of 175 to 185 by the March expiry. But of course, these probabilities change on a daily basis based on the options action. So you cannot really predict probability distribution in a longer duration. For instance, if I switch to a very long dated option expiry, let's say Jan 19, 2024, one year ahead, you're seeing that the probability of distribution is very wide. It is not giving me any meaningful information. But if I bring it down to let's say one month out, which is March 17th, 2023, it's assigning almost 0% probability for the stock to go above 230. 
and for the stock to go below 130, right? So this is a much more meaningful information. And as we approach closer to the expiry, this information becomes even more useful. And that's why I said I'm going to show you how I use this probability distribution to pick my near the expiry trades. That is the trades based on options that I would take before two to three days of the expiry in option. Now, let me show you how you can use this for building a custom strategy and then project your own view and see how that is going to behave. Let's say you're bullish on Meta and by March 17, 2023, you expect the stock to go up. So there are two ways that you can actually project your view. Number one, you go over here, click on this arrow, keep clicking. It will show you the revised probability distribution if Meta stock were to go up. Now it's taking a lot more time. Let's say I'm expecting for Meta to go to 200. So what I can do is I can simply go ahead and increase it like this. So by increasing the price of Meta in future, it's giving me a new probability distribution graph. So the blue color here signifies the original probability distribution and the red color here signifies the projected probability distribution based on your view because now you changed the forward price of the underlying for March 17th expiry. Of course, you can also play around the volatility as well. Whatever your anticipation is on this particular stock, you can accordingly change your probability distribution. But this in itself is not very helpful unless we build on a custom strategy to see how it's going to behave if this is the scenario going into expiry. Now, this probability basis that it's going to use is market implied, but I want it to use my own forecast. So once I change it to my own forecast, then only it's going to take into consideration this new probability distribution graph, which is in red color as generated because we changed the price of underlying asset going forward. Here, you can even use your own existing positions. So you can do the analysis on your own existing positions as well. And here you can see that now we have a multi-legged option shown to us. This is just a default option strategy that Interactive Broker has thrown out. You click on it, that is check it, and then change to any strategy that you want to build. And accordingly, your P&L graph or the strategy's performance would be shown here. You can also maximize it and see how it's going to work out based on the future price movement or again, based on your own prediction on how this price is going to behave in uh, near future until the March expiry. So this is how you use probability distribution for not only assessing where the current price are, where the expiry can be in very short term, say two to three days, but at the same time, what you can also do is you can build your own custom strategies and accordingly kind of forward test them and see if they're making sense to you or not based on your prediction on the underlying asset. Now, if you want to reset, just click over here and it will reset and go back to the original probability distribution. Now I want to again go back to market implied over here and I want to maximize it. Now, if I have to share with you my near term option expiry strategy, then of course, I would go to Feb 17th probability distribution, which is what I've done already. And I know that currently Meta is at 180. Now what I'm going to do is I will look at the strikes where the probability for the stock to go beyond it is less than 10%. So here for 190 strike, the probability for the stock to go above 190 is less than 8%. And again, the probability for the stock to go below 170 is 8.65%. In other words, there are 90% chances for the stock to be between 170 to 190 in next three trading sessions. Why? Because I'm shooting it again on the 14th of February after the close of session and there's only three trading sessions left. So I'll go back to the option chain and I'll see what is it that I can collect if I were to sell a 190 call and a 170 put. So roughly I can get 60 to 65 cents 
per sold strangle, right? And if I were to do it for, let's say, um, 5x sold strangles, then I can collect $300 to $350 for that. So this is one strategy that I can consider deploying by looking at just the probability distribution two to three days before expiry. The other way to trade using probability distribution is you look at which way the probability is higher for the stock to close near expiry. Now I'm seeing that 180 to 182 has slightly higher probability. Although we have to discount the fact that the stock closed near 180 here. That is another reason why 180 to 182 strikes have higher probability. But let's say if I am mildly bullish, then looking at this kind of a structure and you will find it in many stocks that either the bar on the right hand side is higher or the bar on the left hand side is higher. Whichever side it is higher, you consider putting on a position accordingly. So if it's higher on the right hand side, which is what we are seeing right now for Meta, I would consider going into a call ratio spread or broken wing butterfly using calls. So if I were to, let's say, switch to NVIDIA, which has shot up a lot, you will see that the bar on the left hand side is higher as compared to bar on the right hand side. So in this particular case, I will be more comfortable rooting for the stock to come down near expiry than going up. So if I have limited capital, I cannot put on all my spreads on all the strikes, then what I can do is I can be selective looking at the probability distribution. I know that going a little on the lower side will help me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my put broken wing butterfly or simply put ratio spreads depending upon how bearish I am. Ratio spreads near the expiry can bring in more profits, but again near the expiry they can also be very tricky to manage. So if you're not someone who's very seasoned, I would say sticking with a broken wing butterfly is probably a better bet under those kind of scenarios. And you will find that more often than not, if the underlying has shot up a lot near the expiry, then the probability for the stock to come down would be on the higher side as compared to the probability for the stock to go on the upside if it has shot up a lot. And the reverse is also true. If it has come down a lot, then the probability for the stock to go higher will always be higher. And under such scenario, you will see that the bars on the right hand side would be uh, much higher than the bars on the left hand side. So if you will do it on a month on month basis, you will have a fairly good idea of which way a stock is going to go. And that will again be confirmed by using the probability distribution. So this is all that I wanted to share with you in this particular video. Do let me know in comments if it was at all helpful for you. Thank you for being with me and I'll see you soon.